Baptist preacher for nine years, and uh, that's not something that you really shake, you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, all you know, and, and also when, when you're a when you're a preacher, you attempt at least to put yourself in other people's shoes and try to see life and truth from different perspectives than your own, and uh, that that is basically the core of what I try to do as a songwriter and uh, to put to put the truth in, in a way that people can digest it you know or what I see is the truth it was a very rigid set of uh, a set of uh, community standards uh, and the specific sect of Christianity that I was involved in that, that you had to conform to and uh, yeah that was that was pretty tough I'm so many years from that now that doesn't bother me anymore but at first absolutely for a long time I had lots of regrets I had a lot of I lived with a lot of regret and it hasn't been until the last three years when I made all of these things that I used to think were mistakes into, uh, I made it into, you know, a platform from which I create art. And so, so I see a benefit to it all now. You know, it's kind of come full circle for me, I guess you could say. The, the whole preacher and the military thing, it's kind of, it's just kind of wrapped up, you know, it's kind of um, giving me this platform to create this and tell these stories that, uh, that you know, maybe you wouldn't have if you didn't have that kind of background or that perspective, you know. Star-spangled threads Raised by bloody hands Our banner before us a lot of my songs uh, come from, from a very personal um, place, but I don't want my art, I don't want people to come to my show and leave thinking about me. You know, I'd rather them find some truth or some some emotion or some some feeling in my songs that they can relate to personally uh, but yeah I don't I don't try to interpret art for anyone uh, I think I think art is better left to be interpreted by the consumer first paid gig here in, Dece in December of 2015 and um, that was my first show that I ever you know got paid paid to do and then I, I was fortunate enough to be able to play here I think this is like my 40th time or something playing music here and so I really learned how to perform songs in this room which gave me I think a distinct advantage over most of my peers who who had to learn how to play songs in places where people are stuffing their mouths full of catfish and barbecue and nobody's listening to them you know I've had this the distinct honor of being able to play here in an actual listening room and I think it's gone a long way with uh, helping me learn how how to perform in front of an audience that cares sometimes I think trap that I call time It's just some inception like dream state I'm in as I lay down and I think maybe we never existed at all we're just some five cent 
lucid hallucinations, just the mirror image of a higher reality beyond our comprehension. And I lie awake at night and can't keep my mind from wondering about what it all means that I have the ability to wonder what it all means. But you know that nobody in this whole wide world can give you the definition of consciousness that doesn't venture off into religion or some kind of absurdist pseudoscience. I'm in from the Keesler Air Force Base, Abe Partridge. Like a silver roan choir, the sun rolls high through the blue. I didn't start putting them out into the world until like 2015. I didn't think it was any good. And I was nervous about, you know, the reception. Whenever you put your so much, something that's so personal to yourself out into the world, you kind of fear rejection. And uh, that's what it was, the fear. We danced in this golden hue. And the oranges of autumn were shimmering from underneath the dew. Cause color